Hey guys, Clumsy here, and welcome back to Transport Fever. I am back from my short vacation, so this is more or less real-time recording. At least same day recording, that is. And uh, by the way, thank you very much for all the comments, guys. Uh, this series really wouldn't be how it is today if not for you, if not for your inputs. So keep them coming and uh, I appreciate all of that. Even though I may not um, do all the suggestions, I do try to incorporate as many of them as possible as long as it fits with the overall direction of the design I have in mind. So thanks again for all the comments and keep them coming guys, alright? Anyway, in the previous episode, the main problem we had and what we tried to fix was this brand new food line. And I'm happy to say that it is starting to ramp up. If you look at the limit, this is now 200, previously this is 100, and production is 162, previously this was 98. So it is starting to ramp up, the potential for livestock is increasing as well, and if you look at the farm over here, this is actually up for upgrading in two months. So slowly but surely, it is improving, and eventually I am expecting that the, the supply of food on this station will be more than what our trucks can handle because I've gotten a lot of comments from you guys that you're saying the problem might be because you're using trucks here and you only have four trucks in this line and so if you don't have enough trucks then it, the game won't put enough food but I don't think that's true I don't think that's the system uh, how that's how the system works because if you look here this prime example we don't have enough trucks here. As you can see, we always have a hundred plus here, even though I'm spamming this line with trucks already. So in terms of number of trucks, we don't have enough. But still, this plant is just dumping all it can here because there is enough demand for the fuel. So it doesn't care if there's enough trucks in here. It will just dump everything there because there's a line going from this station to the city. And if the trucks can't handle it, then eventually this station will fill up and uh, the demand will backfire, will backflow, and eventually it will cause the demand here to dip down for a minute or for a, for a while. But still, it will try and dump everything here until it gets full. So I don't think that's a problem we have with our farm line over here. Yeah, I don't think the trucks are the bottleneck, at least not yet. It will come, but when it comes, then we'll add more trucks. And because if we add more trucks now, the food itself will not ramp up. It really needs to be the... Look at this one, yeah. It's, still, it's scheduled to upgrade now. It's just really the number of uh, how big the processing plant in the farm is and how fast it's producing. The trains might have a big factor as well, though. The fact that we added a lot of one more train here at least made, made it longer, made it able to carry all these things. It may or may not have a factor, but from my experience, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Anyway, look at that. Limit 400. So we are definitely on the right track here. It is ramping up. Let's just leave it for now and proceed with other optimizations, right? Looking good. Let me just do a quick check on our Stadler EC250s. And uh, thanks by the way guys for the inputs here. So you guys said, I was asking last episode what the number one and number two was. This is number one. This is number two somewhere. Hmm. Should be somewhere in there. Apparently that's a first and second class. So in trains you have uh, the option of getting a second class or a first class ticket. First class is more expensive, slightly more expensive. Not like in planes where you have first class is like 10 times the price. Not that expensive. But when I rode trains, I, I based on my experience, the first class doesn't really have that many amenities. It's slightly more expensive, but for me, the second class was more than enough already. Anyway, that's one quick uh, trivia for you. Quick fact. If any of you are wondering the same as I was. And uh, that's thanks to our guys over at the channel in the community who are trying to answer as much as they can when it comes to uh, my train ignorance. So yeah, those are the class and uh, the train number themselves, the car number, is somewhere in that LCD. So that updates dynamically. 
but I don't think that level of detail is in this model anymore. That would be super hardcore. So yeah. Also, there was a question: What's the difference between the two Stadler Stadler EC two fifties? Oh, nice. If you remember, we had uh, if I open this one, we had two types of Stadlers: Stadler EC two fifties, L two A and A two L. That's mainly just the uh, route from Zurich to Germany and from Zurich to... Oh, I forgot. But each of those have different electrical... Uh, if I understand correctly, electrical currents or electrical regulations. So the two different types of EC250s have different electrical thingamajigs. But if you look at them physically, they're just the same. Yeah, it's just technical details quote-unquote minor details if you could call that minor <laughs> all right let's leave that hanging for now the processing plant and the Stadlers they are working fine uh, let me do this just do one quick check because I got a comment that said um, the circle line here actually has a bit of a slowdown now this one we're expecting a real slowdown in this point we have no option there because we link this up with the cargo container station so the circle line will indeed slow down on that point but aside from that these first two lines on the left should be more or less 300 all the way now if we spot a, a slowdown somewhere do let me know okay but so far i'm not seeing anything everything seems to be green yeah, even here, here there's a bit of a slowdown, but the trains can only reach around 250 or 200 anyway. So that's not much of a big deal as well. Yeah, 230 and then it's back to 300. So they might slow down around 10, 20 kilometer stops, but shouldn't be a big deal. Not even sure if they can manage to reach top speed in that uh, leg. Here we have uh, 244. That is no problemo. Yeah, everything's green and here here we have a bit of slowdown hmm 183 it should be good yeah shouldn't be a big deal we can min max this we can maximize the speed as much as we can but i don't think it will make that much of a difference i'd rather optimize some other lines that we have particularly i showed it a while ago but before we proceed there let me give a quick recap of how our first processing plant is doing it's doing very good actually has a lot of stock it's a lot of livestock look at that it's pretty nice how does that work so it looks like they store the cattle in these tanks <laughs> that's not very animal friendly is it <laughs> i'm assuming that's for grain supposedly but in our usage we're actually only carrying livestock so it doesn't really make that much sense still cool though but yeah so we have 2000 plus demand it should be around 3000 one of them back um back flowed i guess that's how we, how we would call it but eventually that will settle down so how it is currently these trains do carry 221 livestock into the plant and when they go out they bring back 221 food so it's a uh, full load to and from more or less now this did seem to slow down now i'm not sure why hmm yeah it seems like something backfired or flowed back what's the proper term for it but it seems like we have a bottleneck somewhere which caused the demand to zero out for uh aha uh -huh. for a second it might be that we don't have enough trucks here. Hmm. Let's leave it. Well, a train just arrived, so it might have been just that. Let's see. Let's see. Let's uh, observe that. But that might be a possible bottleneck. Okay. Here, I don't think there's any problem, but in this line, there is for sure. Look at that. 263 goods 167 food this is going to south emsol and i highlighted this in a previous episode as well now what we could do here is we could make this a two platform a double platform actually maybe even three platforms hmm one for food one for goods and one for construction materials because this one has all three types of goods being delivered 
Now, if we look here, hmm, I don't think it will be worth it though. There's not really that much of, of, of demand in con mats for some reason. If you look at the line in the in our trucks, hmm, where are they? Trucks South Emsol, this green one. They are dropping off stuff from. We're getting stuff from here. Yes. So the train station already has some catchment in terms of commercial and industrial. Yeah. So the the conmats go he there directly. Some of them go here, and then they drop things off on this side. But all that space there is actually not being delivered to. And we have a three here, which covers majority of the commercial areas. But here, we're actually missing this commercial area and this industrial area. And we have a huge traffic situation. Rip. Might do with a roundabout here. And look at that. What the heck? Are they not happy with their trains? <laughs> Rip. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Where are our trains, by the way? Okay, we do have some. Look at this. 393, 201. It seems like we need more trains now on this line. Yeah, this is gonna be an optimization uh, episode, guys, for sure. Because we do seem to be lacking trains here. Look at that. What's happened? Seems like population boomed or something. Yeah, the, the clockwise line definitely needs a lot more trains. Now, I'm not really good at um, estimating how many we need, but I'll just... When, what the heck is that? Whoa! <laughs> I found the problem. Wait a minute, it might not be that. There might have been a problem here. Oh man, how long has this been going on? Why did that... Why did that turn opposite like so? I don't get it. It might be the counterclockwise has a problem as well. Yeah, in the future, you might need to make everything one way just to be sure that this doesn't happen again yep it's gonna be rip okay so that works now we might not be we might not need more trains actually we just need to fix them right counterclockwise it's working let's go and do a sweep on this uh, road no, no wonder there are so many cars they're like how the heck with this the trains never are coming <laughs> okay this one is working us to a flyby here working working full train so even with full trains on the counterclockwise line it seems like there is still demand so we might need to add some we might need to add some okay so what's the color for train and yeah it hanged the game is getting super slow now because of all the details, all of the computations it needs to do. This is a green Stadler. What's the name again? Thingamajig. <laughs> okay, I kind of remember it. Uh, let me see. The line has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 1, 2, 3, 4. Hmm, one sec. Wait a minute. The counterclockwise is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 4. I thought they were not... I thought they weren't balanced so much. Like, not only one difference. Anyway, counterclockwise seems to need a lot more trains. So let's buy one. Let's buy a couple. It's uh, these guys, the Stadler Flirt MTR Express, and we color them dark green, was it? Hmm. I really wish there was like a copy feature here. Yeah. Dark green, alright. 
Let's buy maybe uh, more burger. <laughs> Two. Three. <laughs> if that's too much, we will see. And then the clockwise line, we leave it for now. And we see if uh, once the trains are moving, if that would work already. Okay. Alright, so uh, let me see here if these guys know where they're going. And yeah, there seems to be a bug, look at that. I did choose green, right? But they still are red when they come out. I've been noticing that for quite a bit. I'm not sure if anyone else is noticing it. So let me just color this here once again. Dark green. Correct? Yes. Okay, you are in the counterclockwise line. So that is perfectly correct. And you as well. Just fast forward a bit. Yep. Good. All right. All right. Let's leave that be. We're good there. We have to fix now the South Emsol line. How did you get to those trains? Super sidetracked. All right. So look at all these. Look at all that. 264 goods. Con mats. Uh, 90. It might. Yeah. It might be. It's going to be useful to just go and uh, make one line for each of these ones here. So let's have that guy carry everything. This might be where the bottleneck is actually. Let me make it like that. Uh, that doesn't look very nice, to be honest. Hmm. Make it four. Now uh, let's just make it three. Ah, uh, reset everything. And then this one, the end, let's put three as well. And then let's just put one train each. Sorry. Okay. Pause. Ay. Okay. You know what? I'm not even going to put in any sort of double lanes, double tracks, or uh, passing lanes here. Just going to be a single track for each line because I'm expecting only one train for each line because of how short that route is. I hope that would be enough. We'll see. So this is the topmost. It should be... Let's see, okay. Let's leave that running through there. Uh, let me remove this extra bit here. Actually, you know what? Let's reset this. You probably even won't, won't need any signals anymore because this is just going to be one track and one train. So it's all by himself. He owns the entire line. So we can probably just go and do that. Actually. Yeah. Might not be the fastest, but it should work pretty well. It's also not matching the thing there but it should be okay like it's this is one and then two this is two and then one if you see the sequence it's not perfectly matching but it's fine it's fine we we'll make it work okay 260 that should be more than enough and then the last one here let's see how can i link up to that one let's see the fastest i can link it up it still looks pretty nice if you can make them get next to each other you know make them a connected line there if you know what i mean like that beautiful so they're split up here it eventually merges in and then they connect together for a while actually for this one until the end beautiful right three tracks now let's decide on the line here. Huh. Okay. Maybe I should have uh, done something else. Let me do something. Let me try and remove this train. Let's put some bumper depots here. This is like one of the earliest uh, lines we've created, I remember. I'm not sure which episode it is. Episode one two or three one of those it's very early so let's uh, sell this entire thing what train is this anyway 
you are a class 1042. Yeah, that should be more than enough, I guess. Okay, send to depot. Actually, wait a minute. So does that mean I don't even get any fuel into here? Right? Because... No, no, no. I don't need to put any fuel into there because the fuel depot is actually in here. And we ship fuel directly from the refinery to the city because it's just nearby. So we don't really need to make that trip there to the central station and then deliver it back. That would just be inefficient. Okay, so the, this should be enough. Okay, got that. Upgrade. Uh, no, no, no. You, sir. Let's upgrade you. Let me rename you to... Uh, let me see. Let's put you as the logs line, as the conmats line, rather. Conmats. Probably make you red. Yeah? Hmm, I don't like that line. I don't like that it's there. Maybe we say, we give it a waypoint. We add a waypoint somewhere here. We want it to be there. And then we say at the end, you go back to that place. Now you know what to do. Perfect. All right. And then let's make one more line. Uh, let's say train SE. Hmm. Hmm. Fine. Yes. Let's do it. Let's say train SE food and uh, that color let's make it orange let's say you stop from here simply to there okay but you return back here because I want that they're organized and I don't want this to eventually we've had that bug before like in this playthrough it was in the second track and then when we load the game it jumps to the third kind of wonky but yeah so let's make sure that doesn't happen by putting in waypoints in there okay so one more let's say train se goods and uh, hopefully this should fix it up goods okay let's make that yellow say here and here i don't think we need a waypoint here anymore because there's nothing left but just to keep it consistent let's add it anyway okay add that third waypoint there just to be sure just to be super duper extra sure okay so you we can actually just replace immediately mm -hmm. not that line actually this line is industry wait a minute did did i did i switch something i think i renamed something different didn't i name something con mats hmm maybe it didn't save because i i changed the the color properly but i don't know let's leave it all right so let's uh, set the replacement now, if this is con mats, then that means we don't really need these wagons. Yes. And that means that should be enough, actually. Class 1042. Let's add maybe a few more wagons in there. No, no, no. Stake cars until 240. There, 232. That should be good enough. Me thinks. Okay, automatic replacement replace now yes okay so that should get replaced like so very good that should uh, destroy the demand for a while because the food and goods will not be able to be brought in anymore so they actually won't be shipped here in this station but we'll just fix that so we will forever have food and goods stuck there at that platform because this train will never take it. So what I do is to upgrade that. 
This is a bit wasteful, but upgrade that once again. Just to refresh stuff and de destroy all those uh, unnecessary things there. And then let's build more cranes. Class 1042. And then wagons for food. Actually, class 1042, how fast does it go? 140, but I doubt it's going to reach 140 at that point. So what we do is we just uh, take these very cool looking wagons. Now how many? That's the question. Maybe one, two, um, three, three each. One, two, three, one, two, three. Hmm, that should be enough, I guess. <laughs> we'll see. And then you copy you. Actually, we can't copy that because this needs to go to that platform. So set you to uh, train. Salt. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Set you to... Says E food. Okay, perfect. So in this one, let's set one more. Class 1042. Let's do the same length. Actually, let's just maybe change the order a bit. 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And then set you... Zoom out a bit. To train SE goods. There you go. Go forth and deliver. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> okay, so let's wait for that to settle in. The con mats are getting transferred, weirdly enough, to this line, to this platform, which is super weird because this line doesn't even have any stake car in it. So I hope. Look at that! Conmats SE goods! Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, I, I know why. My bad. I forgot that. Let's sell these trains. I forgot that these trains actually don't have any limitation whatsoever. Even though those are actually goods wagons, they can carry almost everything. So let's reset that again. Let's uh, buy a class 1042. And then before we go and sell these guys, or we, before we buy these guys, we have to set that this one is for food only, for example, like that. One, two, three. And then, yeah, so we have an icon there now. Uh, let's say this one, food. One, two, three. Next one. Yeah, it's a bit of a tedious process if you're buying different types of wagons, but it does look a lot cooler. There you go. And now you can set that off to the food line. Same goes for the goods line. Before we do anything else, let us first set that to goods. One, two, three. Let's pick this silvery one. Goods, one, two, three. The red one, just to alternate the colors a bit. Goods, one, two, three, and uh, you. Goods, one, two, three. All right, we're good. <laughs> we're goods. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help it. All right, so that should settle in nicely. Okay, perfect. Now the con mats are going to the light, right platform, uh, which should then reflect the food and goods supply later on that should fix itself and then they should be able to get through no problem there when it comes here they're still all mixed up together but that should be fine hmm actually let me just do a quick optimization here because currently What's happening is these guys are delivering the fuel to that place but then it's causing a bit of uh, of lag, of traffic because that station is very small so we can, what we can do instead is to make a different station here just a little drop off thingy over here which is connected to that station and let's have our guys deliver to that place instead 
yeah so that one is still covered we can put that here actually that looks perfect that one and then let's say this one deliver to that place and this one we don't need that anymore whoop see daisy my bad <laughs> Okay, so let's say the first station is actually this one. And then the second station is this one because we're delivering fuel after all. Okay, so we deliver fuel there. This place is in catchment of that station. So when they drop off fuel here, it will automatically either get transferred to these industrial buildings or to this place for further delivery across the line, the green line, green truck line. Yes? That looks actually good right that should be a bit more optimized in terms of traffic these are our goods and look at that there's actually a good there a single good and 11 food how did that happen no clue looks like this one is working though so the food that's going to be dropped off here I'm expecting some of them will reach this point as well don't fail me there, look at that. Perfect. Nice. Okay, now South Emsol is pretty optimized as well. So good thing that this station is in catchment of this station. Top to bottom. Perfect. Alright. Clean the place up. No need for signals or anything like that. So it will be a simple single train system. And if need be, we make the trains longer. But yeah, frequency is not really a big issue when it comes to freight because there is no alternative. Like, what would they do if they don't wait for it? They can't get it anywhere else. Unlike if you're working with passengers, if you make a passenger wait too long, he can take his car. But if they need, for example, food, they can't get, get it anywhere else except from this line, so they will wait. <laughs> That's the main gist of it. Right, so I did see one more optimization opportunity, which is this one. So this line is the salt ash fuel line, which gets oil and fuel from the main station. Look at all that oil, 252. Yeah, but it can only carry, actually it can carry everything. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. I stand corrected. Hmm, maybe it can be a lot faster though so it can for sure absorb everything but then let me see how this works because I saw earlier that there was a bottleneck here there was a bottleneck because look at the yeah there is no more oil yeah and um, if you look here in the processing plant the demand for oil is actually 1,254. Now, it might be that there is a conflict between oil and fuel because the product is either oil or fuel, but both of those are limited to 1,6. So it might be that we are actually getting bottlenecked here. It's not 1.6 oil and 1.6 fuel, it's 1.6 for both of them shared. So might be, even though we're able to deliver the oil, we won't have enough fuel. Which means we might need to look for an alternative. Do we have it though? We have a an oil well here, but we need a processing plant as well. Hmm, we have one here. We can tap that and we can say, okay, you, you just create oil. And we can say, okay, you, you just create fuel. Maybe we can say something like that. But that's an opportunity for us. So we can maybe, let me see. Is there any other oil well nearby? There is an oil well over here. So we can actually make a train station, deliver oil to this one and then from this refinery deliver that somewhere to the central station here either that or deliver that here too 
but I'm not sure if the trains here can manage it. In terms of length, I don't think there's a problem. Uh, there's 100 left space left there, so I think they should be able to deliver that properly. So we might be able to actually explore that. Interesting. Didn't think we could expand this even further. So how, what we could do with that is... Uh, hmm. Might be tricky though. How do you say that this refinery should only produce oil? Or how do you say that it should only produce fuel? Well, I, I think you can control that by setting up the line here if this line can only carry oil then that's what it will produce or at least that's what it will put on this station but then we can't do that because it, it's not only carrying oil it's also carrying crude oil so we can't just say that this train can only carry oil because it will not be able to carry the crude oil from here to here anymore so that's not an option crap Hmm, that might be a problem. Because as we know, this game does not work well with uh, sharing demands across multiple plants. Even though we might tap this refinery and connect it there, it might not be able to supply everything anyway. What we could do is we could say we could force this to create only fuel by limiting this uh, train to deliver only fuel like this train currently is carrying oil and sometimes it only ca it also carries fuel and you know it also carries fuel sometimes because if you look here there's fuel there and where else would it come from but from this station which is where the train is coming to. And uh, why is uh, there no truck here? How many do you need? Only four. Hmm. Only four trucks, but it seems like they're even losing money. Interesting. I don't know why. There is in catchment of everything there. You might need more trucks there though. Just add the same one. One sec. Scania all cargo. Actually, no. Do you only carry. You're only carrying fuel, right? Not anything else? Yeah, I don't think you're carrying anything else. So maybe it's better if you carry only. Hmm, if, you're, if you guys are tankers instead. That would look pretty cool. Guys think. I forgot it about this line already. I can't remember what it's for. It does seem like it's only for fuel because if we look at the stations here, there is a fuel line and a plastic line. And the plastic line should carry... Um, what should it carry? should carry oil grain actually would work here as well mm. interesting one sec so this is carrying plastic and it does not carry anything on the way back okay yeah so yes we can set this to become different vehicles replace you to be cooler so let's go with MENs just to change it up a bit don't you have MEN tankers wait a minute yeah this one replace now and let's get maybe three more actually just two more Okay, let's have a look at these guys. Pretty sleek. What company is that? NA. Or is it INA? Industrial C something. 
no clue. You guys probably know that company, huh? Anyway, so what we can do is to set this train to only carry fuel so that the, the fuel refinery will not produce any oil anymore because nothing will take it to the plant, the plastic plant anyway. So, and then what we could do is we could utilize this refinery and connect it directly to the goods line here, the chemical plant here rather, and say, you can, this line can only carry oil. So it doesn't create any fuel at all, or it doesn't put anything, any fuel at all on the platform. That can work as well, I think. But you guys let me know if you think that is feasible. We have one there, we have one here. I think this one works better. So, hmm. In terms of contours, this might be a very nice, um, hmm, yeah, this might be a very scenic route actually. We can make a train that goes around the mountain, goes through the coast here, merges or turns curves like that. Yeah, just hugs the contour like so. It won't be the fastest train, that's for sure, but it would be pretty scenic. And then it could go uphill a bit there. And then eventually, huh, I don't know. I would rather go there though. Maybe we can punch through a tunnel like that. Just go straight and then go out. Hmm, go out from here, connect to that station. It doesn't look good though. Doesn't look good. Maybe we go around and then make a different station here. That can work. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But let me know guys if you have any comments. How to make that, uh, how to utilize that, right? Okay. Ah, look at this. So much already. So it looks like we'll need a lot more trucks in here. Let me see. You guys need to be all cargo. Actually, can I pick a cooler looking truck here? Do we have a green one? We do. I did download the, the French designs as well. Previously, I, was, I only had the German companies. I downloaded the French one as well. That looks pretty cool. And we have a green color here. Perrier. That's water, right? I think so. I can take that though. Replace now. And then maybe get uh, four more. Four more of these guys. And of course, I'm not sure how that's pronounced. If that's that Perrier or if this is French in Perrier. Or Perrier. <laughs> I, I can never know when it comes to French. Truck South Emsol. Looking pretty professional. That. That's just like a truck sim. Beautiful. Yep. That certainly works. Okay. So at least in terms of delivery. Should be more than enough. Should have more than enough here. We might have two long trains actually. Might need to adjust this later on. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. If we look at the money situation. We are earning everywhere except goods, but it might be that the goods is just having a bottleneck currently. Oh wow, what's happening there? Wait a minute. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Con mats, food, and goods. So guys, are you okay? <laughs> Do you have a handle on this? Because it doesn't like we're making this work pretty well. Might need to change you as well. Change you to uh, what's a cool looking one? Evian. Or maybe Michelin. Yeah, we can, we can go with Michelin. Replace everything. And then let me add maybe. How many? How many vehicles? We add four. 
me add a depot there just so we can fine tune it faster. And yeah, sorry guys about this episode. Might not be as action packed or as, as you were expecting, but I really like this optimization uh, episodes. Because it, it really helps you work your brain, you know. And if you see any other optimization uh, options or opportunities, do let me know as well. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do that five. Good to go. Nice. Not too shabby. Can I take a photo? Hmm. Looks all pro truck sim like there. Like that one. Looks pretty cool actually. And with the horizon like that. Brilliant. Not sure why there's a sudden surge there though. It might have been just uh, piling up. Yeah, it could be. Nice. Okay. So before we end the episode, and yes, sorry. <laughs> and look at this one. Yeah, we'll have to increase this as well. Alright, let's go and pick a different one here, a red one. Uh, let's make upgrade you to the red ones. Look at that, I can actually change this and then say replace. I don't need to I don't need to make every vehicle go into the depot, I can just replace them. Ah, interesting. A red one. And look at that, we do have a red one. Replace? Yes. And then we say we add how many more? Look at that, 370 food! I don't think we can have that much throughput with trucks. I think it will just cost massive, massive traffic. So 20, say 10. 10 trucks would only be able to carry 200 food. I'm not sure if that would be enough, but it would look, would look like a traffic disaster, I think. Let's try it anyway. Let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And probably we'll see them just stuck in the, in the line like that. Uh, because they're crossing each other's path, the buses and the trucks. Looks like over here though, there's not much traffic, so that's good. Alright, let's leave it as is. But yeah, <laughs> we're able to supply pretty well, but we have to deliver it end to end. That's a thing. Okay, and before we end, let's do two more last checks. Let's go and check the circle and green line. Look at that. Beautiful, 28.7. Remember we added a lot more trains in there? And it's earning much, much more. The, co the clockwise line though, the red line doesn't really have too much profit, but it's, it's okay. It's more than enough. Okay, we're good. And then that works well, looks like. This train should be more or less full. Hey, wait a minute. What the heck happened here? There is so much here. So why? Are you only carrying 25 food? Okay, let's leave it as is. Must be a... A fluke or something. Oh and yes, we, we still have not shipped the goods from here. From Hastings to Hexham. Here. We can still make that line, but I think I'd rather fix the goods line first because this line is actually bottlenecked if we look at the supply here plastic is not really in a good place so that's why we need more oil or grain maybe but yeah the line i'm talking about the one that is going through the mountains going uh, on the side of the mountains we might need to do that first and then we can then uh, after the goods line is more or less settled down, we can deliver it to more places. Maybe. We'll see. And look at this. This is what I was expecting. Yeah. 
So the trucks aren't enough anymore. So we need more, much more. Hmm. Much, much more trucks to carry them. Let's see. Train is incoming with 122 livestock. Look at that. 800 limit on the processing plant and uh, 800 limit as well. And it's going to be upgrading to 1.6 pretty soon. That's perfect. Okay, okay, great. Let's uh, go and get some more trucks in here. Let's make this the, the variety one. To start with uh, French trucks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just one of each type. That look pretty cool. So if we look at the line here, it's all varied. Yeah, looks pretty, pretty varied. I like that. Intermarché. Probably not how you say it, but leave it be. <laughs> Evian, there we go, the Evian. Car 4. And I don't know that one. And then we have uh, more livestock incoming. That means more food incoming. Yep. You will also have to check if the trains are doing enough, if they're moving fast enough, and if they're uh, hauling enough. Where is the other train? There. 99. It, it seems like they are hauling enough. It seems like they are uh, sufficient enough. I really like this. I really like this. Yeah, a lot of you guys wanted to remove the truck line and replace them with trains but I'm a bit more biased with trucks because heck one of my main games is ETS2 you're a truck sim so <laughs> give it a chance right I'm sure there will come a point where it will not be able to cope up with the supply and when that happens they will, will switch to a, a train solution then but until then let's enjoy these trucks they look pretty cool after all right Anyway, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Very, very heavy optimization episode. Hope you guys don't mind so much. But in case you have any comments, advice, suggestions, let me know. Thank you for watching. And uh, if you did enjoy the episode, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more updates. In the meantime, this is the Clumsy Geek signing off. Thank you for watching. And see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day, guys. Bye-bye.